Hey, what's up guys? Xiaomi's Mi Mix changed the smartphone game last year with its edge-to-edge -edge screen, and in 2017 we've seen this trend everywhere. But now it's time for the big sequel, the Mi Mix 2. Is it going to spark another revolution, or is it the same old from Xiaomi? I'm Will for GSM Arena, and this is our Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 review. The Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 brings back the bezel-less screen and premium ceramic build of last year's Mi Mix in a smaller package. Built around a 6-inch display, the footprint of the Mi Mix 2 is a lot more comfortable to hold in the hand. The edges are now more rounded instead of squared off, and the sides are made of aluminum. Not sure how durable the ceramic build is, but it's definitely not water resistant, so be careful. There is a chin on the bottom of the Mi Mix 2 that houses the selfie cam. It's sort of unconventional, but more on that later. There are no navigation buttons on the chin though, instead they're on screen. The fingerprint reader is rear mounted with pretty convenient placement, plus it's lightning fast. There is a camera bump on the back, but it's ringed in 18 karat gold, so it's okay, right? Storage isn't expandable on the Mi Mix 2, but you can choose from either 64, 128, or 256 gigabytes of internal storage. There is a real ear speaker on this phone instead of last year's under the screen vibration system. And the bottom facing single speaker is pretty loud, but for the best quality you should probably stick to headphones for music. There's no audio jack this year, you will have to use a dongle to connect headphones to the USB Type-C port. The Mi Mix 2's display is an IPS LCD, it's got that tall 18x9 aspect ratio that's all the rage these days, the trend actually started with last year's Mi Mix. The Full HD resolution is decent, it's not QHD, but sharpness is pretty good, and the lower resolution helps with performance. The screen isn't the brightest, but sunlight legibility is still pretty good. At the heart of the Mi Mix 2 is a Snapdragon 835 chipset. You get 6GB of RAM in the standard model, or 8 in the special edition. In benchmarks, it's on par with other flagships that have an 835, giving great, competitive performance. The Mi Mix 2 opens apps smoothly too, and we didn't have any issues in real-world use. For the OS, you get Android 7.1 Nougat with Xiaomi's MIUI 8 on top. While we were shooting, we received a second Mi Mix 2 with the same Android version, but a beta version of Mi UI 9. It is missing the Chinese bloatware, but it might not be available in all markets. On the Mi UI 9 version, you get split screen mode too. It adds proprietary features over stock Android, though it does take some getting used to. There is no app drawer, so all your apps will be found on the home screen. The Quick Ball is a menu of customizable shortcuts that can be kept in the corner of your screen ready to open. Even though we are rocking an international ROM, some of the extra apps and content still show up in Chinese, and sometimes in the UI, what's translated into English isn't totally spot on. Battery life is good, but nothing special. Even with a 3400 mAh battery, the Mi Mix 2 had an endurance rating of 65 hours in our proprietary tests. You get fast battery charging with Quick Charge 3.0, which gets you from 0 to 47% in 30 minutes. There's no wireless charging though. The Mi Mix 2 has a 12 megapixel shooter with an f2.0 aperture, basically the same main camera as the Mi 6. There is no dual camera here, but it's still an improvement over last year's Mi Mix. In good light, pictures have high dynamic range, low noise, and lively colors. Shots come out sharp, but may lack detail in some scenes. They're good photos, though it's not at the level of stars like the Note 8 or the V30. In low light, shots are decent, with good detail and natural colors, but again, not the best we've seen in a flagship. Now let's talk about the 5 megapixel front cam. It's mounted on the bottom, which is sort of an unflattering angle for a selfie. It's really easy to accidentally touch or cover the lens with your hand, too. Xiaomi suggests that you turn the phone upside down for selfie taking, but it's kind of a hassle. The results are decent, though. On to video recording. 4K video quality is average. The frame rate is solid, but there isn't a ton of resolved detail, and the dynamic range isn't outstanding. As far as 1080p quality goes, it's a lot more competitive. Here you get a nice level of detail and good sharpness overall. Last year's Mi Mix was groundbreaking, but it was something more like a tech showcase than a product that a lot of people went out to buy. In contrast, the Mi Mix 2 has a more appealing form factor and a lower price tag. But while it is cheaper than other bezel-less flagships, it doesn't really have any special features to stand out from them. And its camera is solid but not class-leading. Still, if you're into the ceramic build and you don't mind MIUI, you might want to consider the Mi Mix 2, especially if you live in an area with Xiaomi service and support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and you can always stop by gsmarina.com for our full test findings. See ya!